I just finished an article from the American Medical News, which is sponsored, of course, by the American Medical Association, and it was about supplements, and I was excited. I thought, this is great. They're gonna talk about supplements and how great they are and how important they are in primary care. Well, if a patient comes in to see me, they usually come in to see me because they're interested in having their supplements reviewed. So I'm a little biased, I'm a little jaded, and I'm used to patients talking to me about it. Well, this article said that more than half of the patients in the United States who see a doctor are already taking supplements, so the doctor should know. And I thought, wow, that's great. So the doctor will be able to help them with their supplements and help them do them better, and they'll get better therapeutic results, and it's gonna be really cool. Well, the article was all about the risks about supplements. And that took me by surprise because supplements aren't risky as a rule. Uh, your doctor should know because there's occasionally gonna be some interaction with a drug and a supplement, but supplements by themselves are, are pretty safe. There's been three or four deaths in the last 30 years from supplements where medications are responsible for about a quarter of a million or more interactions or deaths every year. So looking at that article, I was a little bit shocked at the, the tone of it being about risks and dangers and they're so small, um, I don't think that it rises to the uh, level where you should be terribly concerned, but you should know what you should do and your doctor should know. So I'm gonna teach you about that in the upcoming segments about how to take supplements and how to inform your doctor.